So it's the Manchester derby this weekend and after what happened this week with Leipzig and with the Champions League, there's a lot of pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Plenty from fans inside the club and plenty from the media outside the club and plenty from Paul Merson from Sky Sports. He thinks that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is on the verge of being sacked or could be sacked if United lose to City at the weekend. I'm going to look at what he said about Solskjaer, give my own opinion on it. And I want to know from you in the comments below where you currently stand on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because there's more calls for it after that Champions League exit, that really unceremonious Champions League exit. And there'll be plenty more if United don't get the right result against City. But I'm going to run through what Paul Merson had to say about Solskjaer. I give my own opinion on it. And as I said, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new in town. Let's talk about what Paul Merson had to say about Solskjaer. So let's get straight to it. This is what Merson said in his column on Sky Sports. He said, this is a massive football match. I would say if he doesn't get through this, that could be it. I think it's make or break for Ole. Do Man United want anyone else? Are they comfortable with this situation? Do the people who run Man United think they are the biggest club in football? Do they think like me? Or do they think we're not that team anymore? Now, my initial reaction to this would be... What is Paul Merson, someone who's played for Arsenal for 12 years, spending his time talking about how Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is on the edge of the sack when Mikel Arteta is three points above Brighton in like 16th position and we're, if we win our game in hand, in the top four and we're already above Man City. Look, I think... I feel that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is given a very different treatment inside the press compared to someone like Mikel Arteta, who seems to be getting away with absolutely everything that he's doing there. And to say that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would be sacked after the Man City game, I would argue that if it was going to happen this week, it would have happened after the Leipzig game, because that was a bigger game than the City game. Because United, look, for, for as bad as we have been this season, and we've been extremely inconsistent, we're, if we win our game in hand, we're inside the top four. Above City. A couple of points behind Liverpool. It really is not all that massively doom and gloom in terms of our league position. But in terms of the football we're seeing, it's it, not the football that we're seeing. In terms of the progress that we want to see and that we're not seeing, that's where the issue lies. And the issue for me lies with Oregon Solskjaer in repeating mistakes. Because I'm all for people making mistakes. When you make a mistake, you learn from it, you improve on it, you move forward and you don't make that same mistake again. I really don't think that United have been doing that under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and that game against Leipzig is the perfect example of it. How did we go into that game and not know that Leipzig were going to use their fullbacks? Angelino's their top goal scorer this season, I think. Or they, I think they said something like that. Anyway, he scored bare goals and he scored against us within a few minutes and it was such an easy ball over the top. Aaron Wan-Bissaka... I have no idea what he was doing in that game, but he he couldn't defend. And that's the one thing he's been doing brilliantly. He's a great one-on-one -on -one defender, but he just vacated his position. And maybe that's because we switched to a three at the back with Wamba Saka as a win-back, and he didn't know what to do instead of a normal back four. But that first opening 20 minutes showed me and showed you and showed everybody that United just aren't prepared going into games. Because we've gone behind in like our last seven away games. And we've won six of them prior to this one against Leipzig. United get better as the game goes on, but it's almost like we're not coached enough at the start of the game, that we have to learn how to play the game inside the game rather than going into the game with the knowledge already. That's bad. That's really bad. And I think that's a big fault of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and a big fault of the coaching team. They need to make sure that we are good to go from the first whistle because United start games so slowly but get much better as the game goes on but for Merson to say that Solskjaer could be sacked after the City game I think ignores the fact that the Leipzig game was a bigger game in comparison to the City game and if he didn't get sacked after Leipzig why would that change for City I don't think Solskjaer personally is going to be going anywhere anytime soon whether that's the right or wrong thing I still remain on the fence because there's plenty of positives that we've seen since Solskjaer came in but right now there's a real lack of a real lack of progress a real lack of 
using these players properly to get the performances in week in, week out. It's too up and down. It's too inconsistent. And that's the thing that's eluded United under Solskjaer. And it's the thing for me, that the one thing I really need to see for me to say from this point on that Solskjaer can do it going forward. And we've got December to prove ourselves and let's see what happens. But last December, United were in a real rut. And in January time, everybody was calling for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's sacking. He survived. We turned it around after Bruno Fernandes' arrival. Will we get another Bruno in January? We've got Amad Diallo coming in from Atalanta. But can you really expect a, what, an 18-year-old winger to really transform our attack? Maybe he's that good. He's 40 million for 18, so maybe he is. But I just think Merson's wide of the mark to say that Solskjaer could be getting sacked after the City game, when the game that happened a few days ago was bigger and he didn't get sacked there. So I don't understand why he would get sacked if we lose to City. And right now we're above City in the league and Arsenal are down in the dumps. Merson, spend your time, mate, talking about your club rather than talking about United. As I said, I don't think that Arteta and Arsenal get the same under-the-microscope treatment that Solskjaer and United get. Well, I suppose it's what happens when you're a proper mid-table club like Arsenal and you're not United, but that's my own opinion. And before I continue, I do want to have a big shout out to eToro for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already got on the eToro investment platform, go on there and use their new copy trader tool. It's fantastic. You follow the best traders on there, the ones that have had profits for consistently for months. You can go in there, just automatically copy their investments. Now, make sure you follow all the terms and conditions. All of that is in the description below. There's a link there. Make sure you go over there. I'm on eToro. You can join it too. If you're smart with it, it can be a very good tool to use. So make sure you go over there, check out the Copy Trader platform, and the link is in the description. But as for United at the moment, we're, we're Jekyll and Hyde. One week, one game. You watch us and you go, look, the Leipzig game at home, 5 0. You look, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And then in that same week, we played Arsenal. We lost 1-0. Horrendous performance. And that's the issue for United. And I don't know if that's going to go away anytime soon. We could see a brilliant performance against Guardiola, against City. Who knows? City aren't exactly flawless this season by any stretch of the imagination. Their defence, and they spent a lot more on their defence, their defence is still shaky. Our defence is definitely worse. Won't try and compare those. But United are capable of turning it on and turning it up in big games. And we've done it. We've beaten PSG this season. We've beaten Leipzig this season. We just need to find that consistency and find it from the start. Because for United to go into a game and just take 20 minutes to go, what are we doing, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, let's actually start playing football. We do it too often. That comes down to Solskjaer and the coaching staff. That is something that he has to fix. But in my own personal opinion, I don't think Solskjaer is a threat of being sacked after the City game. If it was going to happen this week, it would have happened after the Leipzig game. It didn't. I don't think it will happen after City, and I don't think it will happen anytime soon. Certainly until January comes along, we get Diallo in, and let's see what happens there. But December, we've got a huge month of fixtures ahead. City is next. And after the Leipzig game and after the Champions League exit... Solskjaer really needs to keep the goodwill of the Premier League on his side because United, as I said, if we win our game in hand, we're inside the top four. We're certainly not even out of the title race this year, which is mad to think because we shouldn't be anywhere near it. But Liverpool have come down. They've struggled with injuries. City have come down. They're struggling. Chelsea have come up a little bit. It's all to play for in the league. And now we're out of the Champions League. It really is all to play for in the league this season. The Europa League is just going to be an annoying distraction that happens but let's see what goes on in the Premier League. If we can do it and we can beat City, maybe we can continue that momentum. But let me know what you think about Paul Merson's comments. I disagree. I don't think that Solskjaer is a threat of being sacked after the City game, even if he loses. That's my own personal opinion. You may disagree. And I can see the flaws and I can see the problems. I can see the mistakes that Solskjaer is making. I still like to think that he can improve it and turn it around. Maybe he can't, but let's see what happens against City. And a big win there could shift momentum back towards United. And after Leipzig, Solskjaer and United really need that momentum shift. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV and make sure you follow the link in the description and get on the eToro platform. You won't regret it. Let's talk about Merson and his comments on Solskjaer. Let's talk in the comments. Mm -hmm.